Okay, last video, we're ready to finish up the amplifier. Now I've went ahead and uh, gone by the plans, of course, and Tolex two pieces for the back. And I've also cut uh, the mounting blocks uh, for the speaker grill. You know, these are just four little pieces of wood, and I've drilled some holes in there um, so that I can mount those to the amp and the grill. Now go ahead and mount your speakers in place and wire those in. Um, I'm not going to go into the configuration. Just use the wire that we did in the testing procedures and wire it according to your particular configuration of uh, speakers. But just make sure you've got it uh, all connected properly. And then you can see I've drilled those holes out a little more there. And they're going to mount uh, to the sides of the amplifier and then into the grill there to hold it all in place. So you can see I've went ahead and positioned them with enough room for the grill to sit in the amplifier. And I've also mounted my reverb tank. And uh, be sure and leave yourself a little room there for the uh, bottom piece. Kind of center it there in the bottom of the amplifier. And then we're going to fold the grill up onto those mounting uh, strips. And then it's just a matter of screwing those in place. And then plug in your speakers and the reverb tank. And notice we've got two blocks here so that we can put our back pieces on. Okay, our bottom piece is in place here. And then the top one, make sure you've got those wires cleared. There needs to be a little clearance between the chassis and that little uh, top lip of that piece. Screw those into place. And we have a finished amplifier. It's time to uh, plug in a guitar and see how she sounds.